Hello everyone. My name is Leighton Walters. I'm with Brata Sports. We at Brata Sports are extremely excited to be working this evening with Denby High School. We're bringing you, for the first time in Jamaica, statistical collation for netball. As you know, Brata Sports, partnering with ISA, have been working very closely to promote schoolgirl netball. We have noted in the past that we need to step up our game and provide to the general public information such as fixtures, results, and also now gameplay statistics. For the effort the girls have put in on a 60 netball, we in turn need to be able to give back the type of statistics that will be important and potentially um, fulfilling to their effort. We do realize that there are very key benefits with regard to statistics collation. For example, to coaches, it's vital in that it allows them the type of analysis that will give them a picture of what took place in the game and, and be able to compare it against other games. But more importantly, for the athletes themselves, these are the netball players, this can be used to form the athletes CV or resume so the girl can actually use the fact that she participated in a particular number of matches and also what she did in these matches to bolster her academic CV or academic resume. So what we're doing at Brata Sports is working closely with the schools across the island. In so we're, we're training specifically appointed statisticians to collate stats for each and every team. These statisticians will be able to record the detailed gameplay associated with each player for each match. And as I said before, the players will be able to use this to bolster their resume so they can add this to their academic qualifications to potentially be able to apply for a scholarship at GC Foster, UWE, UTEC. This is very, very important. The gameplay sheets are very simple to complete. We have, firstly, these gameplay sheets readily available online on bratisports.net. If you want the sheet, simply go, follow the links on the homepage, and it's at your disposal. The sheet comes as standard with 18 columns recording your specific team status and your reserves, as well as their positions. A goal. This is when a goal shooter or goal attack shoots a ball directly through the hoop. Goal misses is when the goal attack or the goal shooter attempts to shoot the ball but the ball is not scored. Attacking rebound is when an attacking goal shooter or goal attack misses a shot and catches back the rebound. Center pass received is the amount of ball that is passed within the center third without the opponent getting in contact with the ball. Bad pass is when you pass the ball to your teammate and your teammate doesn't catch the ball, which results in a turnover or is the ball passed outside. Contact is hitting and touching the opponent who is in possession with the ball, while obstruction is when an attacker or a defender takes less than three feet from the opponent who is in possession with the ball, allowing the passer to have difficulties passing the ball. Footwork is when a player in possession of the ball walks, runs, or steps with their landing foot. Held ball is basically when the player has the ball and does not release it within three seconds. Offside and breaking is when a player steps into a section of the court which they are not allowed to go based on the position they are playing. An error may be defined as a mistake made by a player on the court which results in our team losing the ball. Some of these errors may be identified on the statistics from pointer 6 to 11. An interception is when a player gains possession of the ball while the opposing team tries to make a pass to their teammates. Defensive rebound is ball gained by a player of the opposing team after the goal attack or goal shooter of the own team attempts to shoot and miss. A pickup is a loose call obtained by a teammate. For example, during a center pass, 
the wing attack, beats the wing defense, the wing defense drops and pick up the center that is passing by. Tipping is basically when a teammate makes contact with the ball without gaining control of the ball, resulting in favor of the team. Umpire warning. This is where an umpire gives warning to one or more player. Eviction is basically the umpire sending a player off the court either permanently or temporarily. Team goal scored from a centre pass is the amount of pass that a team can score from the initial pass, which is a centre pass to a teammate. Team goals scored from games is basically the amount of interceptions successfully scored by the opposing team. Team gain from opposing arrow is when an opposing team makes a mistake and the other team maximizes on the mistake by possibly scoring a goal. Recording stats is very simple. We utilize two statisticians from each school. We work closely with all the schools. What we basically do is have extensive training for these two statisticians. First statistician is a spotter. She focuses on the detail of what's happening on the game and relays this to the recorder. The second statistician, the recorder, focuses on writing down what they are hearing from the spotter. I happen to have a completed stat sheet just to show you. As you can see, the first column shows you exactly who is playing. So this is what you complete for each of your players. Your goal shooter, your, your goal defense, goal attack, GK, center, wing attack, wing defense. All your reserves are listed below that. Second column, as you know, it tells the position and columns one all the way over to column 18 are all the attributes that we collate for your players. We use matchsticks. You use four strokes and then you cross it off with a fifth. You also record the quarter in which you are doing your stats collation. And it's that simple. Two statisticians, one spotter, one recorder. <laughs>